in the Sysmon videos I show DLL hijacking but also in this content pack, content extension there are rules that help us de detect that so we clear all the offenses let's go into the fully patched Windows machine and execute this process which normally is the type of things that are done with uh, DLL hijacking and what this is all about is that when a process is instantiated from another one it inherits the access right of the parents and if that is a you know that that process has a special privilege that's a way of actually performing uh, a, a kind of uh, Uh, credential escalation, right? And here we have it. We can actually click on the fence, and I may do a few more videos of these. But uh, what I'm not showing in here is that this works also for Macs and Linux. Uh, many of these rules, so this is not restricted to Windows only. Right, and this is recommended block process is running, and again, that's an indication of the things that are done with DLL hijacking. Just to finish this series, uh, because I cannot test everything in here, let me actually do some other things to get those rules to be triggered. It doesn't matter. I want you to keep on going with that. Let's go to the offenses. And here we have not one but just two offenses actually running. You can see the reference to the Microsoft HTA there. When the encryption instructions are created, let's actually execute this command. Let's wait a little bit and go to the offenses tab. We actually see it right there. When the bad guys disable recovery of the boot data, let's wait a bit and go to the offenses tab. And here, yet another rule firing. Let's do some reconnaissance type of operation, finding files with uh, with file with the word password in it, right? And this is a small demo system, so let's actually do another type of oh actually select string is a PowerShell command. So here we have it. We have the corresponding offenses fire because of those nice rules. This file extension is indicative of a particular type of malware when it's encrypting the files. Doing things like adding a user are part of the things that are done by the bike guides with ransomware. Again, so let's actually see, you know, these are some of the rules. I'm going to stop this video here, it's getting a little long. And these are just some of the rules that are in this package. It's something that I strongly recommend you to have it, test it, tune it, and make sure that you have a better posture in detecting ransomware type of attacks.